Hi, welcome to In 5 Minutes. Next is the practical RC phase shift oscillator. You can see from this point till this point you have the amplifier which is common emitter NPN transistor in this case. Why NPN? From the terminals arrow is always from P to N so it is NPN transistor. Since the emitter is common how come? You can say input is applied to the base and we are taking output from the collector so which terminal is left out is common so we can say it is common emitter configuration in the feedback network you have rc so it is called as practical rc phase shift oscillator using bjt now you can say r dash is written as r minus ri this resistance r minus ri you can say this input resistance of the bjt ri is nothing but the input resistance of bjt that will also come in the picture when you connect a resistance r over here so to nullify the effect what we are doing we are subtracting the resistance ri from the resistance r so we'll get the resistance as r dash over here right you have rc from where we are taking the output as collector now for the ac equivalent circuit what we do for the ac equivalent circuit we remove capacitors that is short circuit the capacitors then remove DC sources that means this VCC will be grounded this capacitor will be shorted this will be shorted so RE will be redundant this will be shorted right just for the this we are doing for the amplifier and not for the feedback network so we are drawing AC equivalent circuit for the amplifier so the circuit will look like this you have the input capacitor shorted plus VCC is grounded you have the feedback network and the resistance right now we can draw the small signal AC equivalent circuit of this you can say you have HI wherein we have R pi in our network and HFE IB is nothing but GM into V pi so what we can say HIE is equivalent to R pi and HFE IB is equivalent to GM into V pi can say HFE is nothing but beta that is the gain of the transistor this you know we can find from the multimeter also we can find the value of HFE right and IB over here we can write voltage across this which is nothing but if it is R pi can write V pi right voltage current we are writing I is equal to V by R and resistance is R pi right which can be written as GM into V pi right that is 1 upon beta upon r pi can be replaced with this formula so there is a standard relation between hfe and beta you can say we'll not get much into it you can say hfe ib is gm r pi into ib this is can also be written as gm r pi into hfe ib right now we need to do the analysis of this you can say at the input we have HFE IB into RC and RC that is can say this current source in parallel with resistance that is this part is converted to a voltage source in series with resistance over here you can say voltage source in series with resistance and you have all the elements as it is so this is given as the input and this is the output from the circuit and this is input to the circuit you can say this is the input to the feedback network and this is the output of the feedback network so this is output of circuit or say amplifier and this is input to amplifier right so we can write the kvl equation in matrix form directly can use the shortcut method kvl equation in matrix form you have voltage source as negative because we are going from positive to negative leaving with negative sign so minus hfe ib into rc equals to in the total resistance in the first loop is rc plus 1 upon s into c plus r then common to second you have only r common to third you don't have anything then again minus r total resistance is 2r plus 1 upon s into c in the second loop then r then 0 minus r and total resistance is 2r plus 1 upon s into c in the third loop this we are multiplying with current is i1 i2 i3 you can say voltage is resistance multiplied by current this is how the matrix form is written now we want the final i3 as we have done in the previous derivation also so you can say i3 
is nothing but delta 3 upon delta so for that we need to find the value of delta which will be rc plus 1 upon s into c plus r minus r 0 minus r 2r plus 1 upon s into c minus r 0 minus r 2r plus 1 upon s into c so when you solve this you will get say from here rc plus 1 upon s into c plus r this multiplied by 2r plus s into c this two we are multiplying so when you multiply this two you will get 2r plus 1 upon s into c square minus r square this is the first multiplier then for the second you will have plus r this two multiplied by this two so 0 into r will be 0 so you are left with minus r into 2r plus 1 upon s into c right so for simplification i am writing the equation again 